What's up, everybody? Hello. The future's so bright, gotta wear shades. <laughs> we got a bright, bright future ahead of us. Bright. It's bright. Super bright. Where are you watching from? Where are you at? What's your deal? Let's see what we got here, man. We got Rohan. Look at that, My Caitlin. Man. Caitlin was like right out of the gate. Hello, Caitlin. Rohan. Looks like, uh, you remember he had his long hair? He uh -huh. like ponytail. He looked like straight something out of Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Got Lynn. God bless you, everyone. Hey, Lynn. Figure I'd start the broadcast off with the bang. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's like, what's he doing wearing sunglasses? Sunglasses. Because those lights are bright. And our future is very bright. See, my future is bright. Brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. You know, we're called to be different. That, that light shine bright everywhere you go. That's right. Desiree, God bless you. Leah, Marcy. Pastor Roberto, God bless you. Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin does look like an officer. Look, uh, yeah, those are like yeah. officer glasses. Spiritual yeah. police. Mm. You know what a snitch is? A spiritual informant. <laughs> people telling on other people. Spiritual informant. Spiritual informant. Well, today's going to be big. I, You know, listen. You absolutely rocked it on Sunday. Thanks. You did a. You did an amazing. You look like you've 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 done that your whole life. Yeah, I know. You know, everybody was super happy for you. They're proud of you. The Holy hey, Ghost Paul. Is with me. How how are you today? God bless you. Got Joan, Marcy. Hey, Joan. Man, so many amazing people. You guys are awesome. If you guys could just take one second, let's just all do it together. Let's do it together. You know. Um, this broadcast is going to help somebody tremendously. Not only somebody looking for somebody to get hooked up with, somebody that's already hooked up with somebody, mm -hmm. or marriage and, you know, relationships, whatever, friends, you know. Sometimes, you know, people end up in love on the rocks. Sometimes it gets rocky. And so I think this is going to, you, your message is going to help somebody so much. You, you, you really helped a lot of people on Sunday. You know how I many people told me that, you know, really spoke to them. They're still chewing on it. When you speak, uh, you know, on Sunday and they're still chewing on it on Tuesday. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, that's, that's powerful. You, you, you did some, you did a great job. How many think she did a great job on Sunday? If you watch it, if you haven't watched the broadcast on Sunday, you need to go back and watch. Thank you, Rohan. The Uncommon Relationships in our Uncommon series, man. You did a great job. And so I couldn't have been more proud of you. You Thanks. know, you just did an amazing job. I'm super proud to be your husband. And you, I know you're super thankful to be my wife. I am. That's right. But, you know, I don't say that in a very prideful, but no, more of a boastful, arrogant kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. Kelsey, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> she, she, I crack myself up. You huh? do. You crack yourself up. Okay. You laugh at my jokes. Too, I though. laugh at your jokes more than anybody. You know else. how you can tell someone's one? They laugh at your stupid jokes. That should have been one of my points. You know, it, and if there's nothing they, they could get from you, you know what I mean? Because they laugh just because they want something. But if they just laugh because they love you, you, you know. You, no, you but got, really, like you know, that list you have. If if you just should put, they've got to make me laugh. Right? So, you know, we we got some great content for you today. We're gonna unpack. You know, you you. You kind of touched on it Sunday, but, you know, the, the God's way versus the world's way. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we want to help unpack that today. How many want us to unpack that today? I'm, I'm going to pull it right out of you today. We're going to get Amen. we're going to get you talking a little bit more here about that. But if you could take a moment, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you could do that. If you haven't downloaded our app, that'd be a wonderful thing because mm. we're going to start pushing these notifications to our apps. And matter That's of fact, right. we're gonna add all of our content to the app, to the to the Crossroads app. So you can type in Crossroads Mass or Crossroads Connects, Google Play, um, Apple Store, either one, you could do that. And uh, 
that that'd be great if you could do that because we get all of our snow notifications there for the church. Yep. If you don't have a home church, you know, you know, I don't I don't want to say, but I think this is the best church like in New England. Just saying, well, I could we, be biased. We think it is. <laughs> I think it is. But you know, you know, the people here are amazing, and really, that's what makes up the church, right? The people we are the church. And these wonderful people at call Crossroads Community Church are amazing people. And so um, you're looking for something to plug into. This is a great body to connect with. These people are absolutely amazing. Amen. I love our people. You know, they're so servants. They're, they're there to help. They're all blessed. And, uh, you know, they, 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 they're not people with needs, but they're the people that meet needs. That's right. The people that meet needs. That's right. And so, hey, Ro. Nana. Pam. Hey, Pam. God bless you. Jen. You're awesome, too. Thank you, Pam. And so if everyone can just take a moment, subscribe, uh, and uh, repost or, you know, um, share the broadcast, that would be very, very helpful to us. <clears throat> Caitlin to get agrees the word with us. Out. Thank you, Caitlin. And so <laughs> um, if you could do that and just take a moment to do that, I'm going to do that right this second. I can share now. Okay, you shared the, this video with the Crossroads Men's Ministry. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but... <laughs> That was uh, not what I was looking to do. So here we go, technologically challenged. And, you know, I feel like I should hand you my phone and let you do that. But I think I got this right here, okay? I think I can do it right there. There's the big, the big share button. I can write a post, and I got to go here, and I got to put it on my news feed, okay? See? How see he's how I did that? See how he did that? He did that. If I could do it, you, you could do, do it. it. Oh. If I could do it, you could do it. Should we teach him how to do it? Teach them how to do it. What you do is you go to the broadcast, go to the Crossroads page. You can see the broadcast there. There is That's a share right. button on the bottom right-hand mm, corner. You just click that button. And you share it. And it says then it write posts. a post. It goes right on there. Post. It's posted. Did you post it? I did. Post it. You know yep. what I mean? I done done it. So that would help. That would be great. You know, we say that a lot because it's important. We <laughs> like to help. We're helpers. That's what we do. Right? Yep. Caitlin, Great message. you're cracking me up, Caitlin. <clears throat> she preached a fantastic message. Go back, if you have not watched it, go back and watch it. You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, first service, Thank I thought, you. was a little more funnier than the second service. Just, you know, personal, you know. Let us know which one you like better, if you watched them both, you know. Some people watch one, go to one. Some people True. go to both. Some people right. watch both. Right. And so, you know, we're glad that you're tuned in today. We're thankful for all of our partners all of our online viewers, mm. all of our resharers, and, you know, Thank you know, you. we got to do we a giveaway. You. Let's do a giveaway. Okay. You want to do a giveaway? I do. Hey, let's do a giveaway. Hey, Come hey. on. Let's do a giveaway. What are we going to give away? Let's give away, let's give away one of our interns, okay? <laughs> You know, for the next for the week, day. our yeah. intern is going to come and they're going to do whatever. <laughs> Just kidding. All our interns, <laughs> the interns are like, are like what? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. We love our interns here no. at Crossroads. These people are amazing. They the are called great. by God. They're great. Bible college graduates serving in the ministry. Amen. They're sowing yeah. for a harvest. Making and a so, you know, Good. they're amazing. They're amazing preachers. If you're looking to fill a pulpit, we've Come got some on. amazing preachers That's here it. that could absolutely it. rock it under the power of the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Holy so Ghost pastor, preachers. if you're looking for some fresh blood, That's right. you're looking for some Holy Ghost anointed ministers, we've got a whole church full of them. Yes. We've got uh, evangelists, we've got musicians. Mm. We, they can sing, they can preach, they can run an outreach. They are gifted. Maybe you wanna send Woo. a team or teach a crew how to go out and do some soul winning. You could just get a hold of us here at Crossroads. Give me a shout out, send me an inbox message, and we can help you with all of those things. So we're, we're glad that you're, you're, you're watching today. And so let's, what are we going to give away? Let's give away something. Let's give away, what are we going to give away? Let's give away. I'm reading the comments. They're that? cracking me up. I'm sorry. What? Go ahead. The comments, yeah. they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> they're funny. I'm missing the comments. What do we see here? How do you give away an intern? You just have you just your give interns away. put sermons, talks on DVDs, and Ooh. give the DVDs away. Oh, oh, that's not a bad idea. That's actually not bad. That's not a bad idea. That's not I'm a not sure bad DVDs idea. But that. we're going to give something away tangible, okay? <laughs> and we're not going to give our interns because we love them. We need them very much yes. here, okay? And they're not—they're they're God's possessions. They're God's not possessions. Ours. We don't know them. <laughs> you know, you know, they might think differently, but no, they, might they don't think that. They're blessed. Are you blessed? 
It, they're very Amen. blessed. Very blessed. Very blessed. Praise so, God. okay, here we go. Uh, let's give away gift card. Gift card for Easy. tuning in today. You, we're going to give away someone online here. I'm um, going to have to figure out how we're going to do that. Maybe uh, you you know, know, Adrian's now. got that that that. Uh, yeah. That. That special. So anyone that's tuned into the broadcast Anybody that's today. live right now. So you should share it, the broadcast, right? Because we're going to give away live. I mean, we're going to give away somebody. Because you tuned in today, mm -hmm. today is your lucky day. It's your chance. Your Today's your lucky day. So what are we going to give away? Let's give away a $250, not $100, oh, $100. That's a new bag and shoes. <laughs> and $50 gift card today. Yeah. So get people on the broadcast because it's going to help them. At the end of the broadcast, who's ever still on, at the end of this broadcast, we are going to select. You want to pick it out? We'll have one of our, we'll have our intern pick it. Yay! Right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So here we go. That's right. End of the broadcast. We're not going to keep you long, but we're going to, we're going to fill you up with with some good stuff that's going to help you so you can help those that are around you. We all know somebody, not just us, right. that, that, that this message can help. Amen. Your message it touched a lot of people. It helped a lot of people. So we're going to give away at the end of this broadcast, at the end of this broadcast, this is why you need to tune in live. Well, what, what happens if you can't tune in live? All right, so we're going to give away a $250 broadcast for anybody watching today and... We're going to select uh, somebody at, uh, at the end of the replay by Thursday. When I do PBTV, we will announce the other winner of the $250 gift card. You're going to do two 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 fifties, okay? That's right. Oh, so you get, you get double chance We sow to win. for the future. We, hmm. We're believing in you. We're, you're not tuned in for no reason. You're tuned in with purpose. Amen. And today, part of your purpose is you could possibly win a $250 <laughs> gift card. But this is why you should share the broadcast because I'm going to give, actually, not I. I keep saying, I, that's, we, there's no I in team. I know. You know? It's okay. Team, th we're a great team. We become one. We, we're a team, okay? But we're going to give away another $250 gift card. That's right. Right? To somebody that has shared the broadcast that's what we'll do for we're going to select somebody that has shared the broadcast and at on by thursday uh, when i do pbtv on thursday at one we will announce the winner of the 250 fifty dollar gift card for so sharing for, the broadcast so for clarity's sake we are going to give a 250 fifty dollar gift certificate away to someone who is viewing today live now today and then we are going to give away a $250 gift certificate to someone who, who shared, shares shared the, broadcast. the broadcast. And by Thursday at 1 o'clock, we'll announce. So if you have multiple accounts, you could, that gives you multiple opportunities to win. <laughs> People are going to be starting you fake You know what that accounts. reminds me of? That reminds no, me of like that. American Idol when people used to like try to vote on all different no, platforms. No, this is, this is, this is viewer... <laughs> appreciation that's day that's right we appreciate right? you and you know i just think this what you talked about sunday is so important it's going to help somebody so much i brought props today <laughs> props the this is going to be good yeah so and so <laughs> you don't want to miss this this is going to be look great. at that i shared with 2400 facebook friends that's right jen that's you saw are the they message. really friends that's, oh, that's right the you, question. you saw the message you know what i mean <laughs> those are followers right so that's right. Share the broadcast. Diana, share the broadcast because we are going to give away whoever shares the broadcast. Um, <gasps> we're going to give away one winner. We're going to randomly select a winner of those who share the broadcast by Thursday. So you can tell all your friends to share it. Diana, you said, thank you so much for making me feel welcome to my first visit Sunday. Well, we're happy you visited with us. That is so great. That Who did she made me. you feel? Wow. She made you feel? No, our team, our people, Aww. the church. We made her feel welcome. We do. I'm telling you. This, so, these I feel welcome the every time I come. I'm so happy oh, that Oh, look, you we've felt got the it. evangelist, so John, or that could be Anna. I'm not sure. Both of them. We love you guys very much. Those are powerful evangelists. Amen. We're going to get you down here at some point, okay? Woo. You come in this way, my friend. The, he just had a miracle, a big one, a big miracle. Um, Praise God. In, the, um, in, in one of his meetings. 
Yeah. Um, somebody, I think that was uh, blind, couldn't read, completely blind without their glasses. Couldn't, Praise right? God. That's so and, great. and God touched oh. the eyesight. God still that. does miracles That's today. Right. Deb, oh, oh look, Deb, you could win $250. Share the broadcast, Deb. Let, every, let the girls know. Seriously, you know what I mean? This is fantastic. We got people, we love you. That's Deb Manzo. Deb Manzo runs the oh. Providence Women's Home for Teen Challenge New nice. England. And so, amazing leader. Yeah. She's just love absolutely you, fantastic. Teen Challenge is the <laughs> best. Uh, it's not a rehabilitation center, it's a ministry center That's to help right. those that struggled with addiction That's right. and life controlling issues. And I'm also a graduate of the Teen Challenge ministry, a product of Jesus Christ in Teen Challenge. Mm -hmm. So is Kiana. Kiana, you chose the right broadcaster. <laughs> so you have to watch the end of this broadcast to receive. We're going to select somebody out of the broadcast today that's watching today, $250 gift card for you today. We'll get it right out. And then we're also going to select another folk that uh, shared the broadcast. So share the broadcast. Do it now. Get it out there. Don't forget, but we're going to give, we're going to select somebody by next Thursday, this Thursday coming up. Uh, another $250 gift card. So, Kim, God bless you. Share it. There you go. Christina, share it, Christina. And so, we're going to figure out, I think we're going to, should we let our intern pick it? How, how is this? How are we going to do this? We're going to figure out. You got to let Adrian know how we can randomly select a, a viewer today that's watching on the end of this broadcast. We're going to select somebody. They're going to let us know who. And uh, this they goes for staff. God bless you, Pastor Jeffrey and Stephanie. We love you guys. There we go. Let's go. All right. All right. So, Romans 12, 2. Look at 12, 1 in Romans. So mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul is speaking to the folks, the church, the right? Folks. And so he says this. And so, dear brothers and sisters, right? Brothers and sisters, we all brothers and sisters here at Crossroads in the kingdom. That's, That's right. why we shouldn't speak against our brother or right. our sister. Right. We should deal with our family props, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and resolve issues. If you got issues, there should be no issues because we're all brothers and sisters. That's right. That's why, you know, think about that, right? If if God hasn't selected you to be with somebody, you might be dating your brother or your sister in the kingdom. Oh, mm. my God. And so we're not into incest here at Crossroads <laughs> Community <laughs> Church, okay? But you got to know that you know, right? You gotta and know so we're going to talk, this we're going to help you today. Hmm, in the area of relationships, right? So the title of the broadcast is Relationships, and I got this from you, right? Relationships, God's way. That's I'm right. sorry. The, the right way, the wrong way, and your way. Actually, I think we did better. Okay, so the title of the broadcast is Relationships, wrong way, right way, and your way. There we go. Because your way could be part right way, part wrong way. And so we're going to help you today. We're going to help you get free in the name of Jesus. So look at Romans 12, 1 and 2. It says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give or offer your bodies to God as a, as a living sacrifice for all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Let the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Verse 2. Do not, don't, stop copying or copy the behavior and customs of this world, mm. but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way that you think, mm. and then you will learn to, to know God's will for you, which is good, perfect, and pleasing. That's right. We want to help you find the one. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the one, we want to help you find the one. And even if you have the wrong one, you could do the right things to get the right things. Right? right? And so God will turn it around. He can supernaturally... Turn things around. And so you're on this broadcast by not accident today, but on purpose. That's right. You're on purpose. And you have a great shot, if you stick with us until the end, to win a $250 gift card. And so someone says, I don't need $250. Or you're out of your mind. Okay? You know what I mean? I'm like <laughs> sticking it through. Okay? I wonder, if I share the broadcast, am I eligible for that? We shared it. No. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're giving away. All right. So anyways. Donna, hey, look, Donna Woodward. Hey, we love you. Hey, God bless you guys, huh? Yeah. So uh, stick, through, stick through the broadcast. Share the broadcast, Donna. We're giving away a $250 gift card. <laughs> All right, so Romans 12, 2 says, do not follow the patterns or the behaviors or the customs of this world, right. but be transformed by the renewing right. of our minds. So a lot of people know that. 
And so in your message, you talked about having uncommon relationships because common relationships today, they don't last very long. No. Right? But we are called to have uncommon relationships, right? That's right. We don't want to look like the world does. So um, she contrasted the world's way and God's way, which was fantastic, by the way. If you haven't watched my wife's broadcast from Sunday, you will watch it. She did a good job. Um, so I titled it The Wrong Way and God's Way. So, you know, people, maybe people that are watching understand what the world means. So the right. world, there's a worldview. Yeah. Whatever you grew up with, and, you know, if it's unbiblical, that, we would call that the worldview. That's right. Right? There's the worldview, there's your view, and right. then there's God's view. There's only three views that really, yeah. at, at four, and other people's views. Right? Because that could be a combination or a mixture or an impure mixture. So, ooh, John shared a watch party. Well, thank you. Or Anna, one of the two. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Just to let you know. But um, um, again, we're giving away a $250 gift card. If you're watching for the first time, share the broadcast. We are going to select somebody from the broadcast today to win. If you watch through to the end of the broadcast. And then we are going to select also somebody who shared the broadcast. We're going to let it share all the way up until Thursday yep. by noon. Yep. Thursday by noon. We will let you know. We'll select somebody at noon on Thursday and then reveal it. Uh, I'll reveal it on uh, Thursday at 1 on PBTV, okay? So you talked about the wrong way, the right way, and God's way and the worst is the world's way. So the world's way, you said this. Step one, find the right person. When people look to start a relationship, they are, you said that to find the right person. And you, and you gave some, like a great analogy. Like what was... Like how, what is, what, 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 what mental image do you have? What, what? Mental image do you have of someone trying to find the right I, person? Uh, my image is someone, they're on the hunt. They're, 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 this is, this is like, you know, you're not just like hoping to stumble into this person. You have got, uh, like I see binoculars out and they're searching. So your hunting. mental image is a binocular. And like they're, they're standing, you know, they're looking for the right person. They're yes. scanning crowds. Yes. They're going places. Yeah. So they're not going places to go places. They're going places to, to find, find someone. To That's find it. someone, right? Yeah. So people That's that it. are, this is for, that was for the single people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, hopefully, if you're married, you're not looking for anybody. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Hey, that could happen too, right? You, no. Oh, that shouldn't happen. no, that happens though. It does, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't. All right, that's the world's way, though. I'm not preaching about that. Right. That's right. That is people the running way. relationships you're right. on the side of relationships. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's the world's way. Ugh, wow. No bueno. No bueno. You yeah. know, I can imagine trying to, you know, juggle. You know, I, I, I have a hard time keeping up with you. You know, I couldn't even imagine like that. It's true. You know, but it's true. you know. People Touché. in the world or whatever the wrong way is to have a relationship. And then you, you, if those relationships found out about each other, it ain't going to go well. well. No. No. So, but people that are single, they're focused on finding. That's, that's, that's the wrong way. That's the yeah, world's way, often right? Often single people are, th that is like the focus. They feel like in this time in their life, that's their purpose. Their purpose is to find the one, the right one. They become consumed by this. So everything they're doing is motivated by finding the one. Yeah, I, when your, your mental image is binoculars. Mine, mine is, is Elmer Fudd. Yes. <laughs> it's Elmer Fudd. <laughs> we, we, we hunt some wabbits. <laughs> we, I'm hunting for a girl. <laughs> this is, is this the contrast it's, it's, between it's like men and women? stuck up, up off, his, off his head. <laughs> Elmer oh. Fudd. <laughs> is, is this the contrast between how men and women see things? Yeah, when you said that, when you said people are hunting for people, I'm thinking Elmer Fudd. That's, that's the first image that came we into my mind. We hunt and women. We're <laughs> We're hunting women. We hunting women. We hunting women. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm like Elmer. F I'm thinking Elmer Fudd. That's that was the mental image that I got. This yeah. thing's really warm. <laughs> I think we all need one of those right now. It's actually today. It's warmed up a little bit today. Yeah. After the freeze. After that freeze. You look so happy in that hat. This hat is very warm. My father had a hat like <laughs> he this. He did have a hat like that. You're right. He did. <laughs> so. I'm thinking Elmer Fudd with the gun, hunting, yes, you know what I mean? Yes. Looking. Looking hunting. on the search. That's Not giving up. They're determined. That's the world's determined. way. Determined. Right? So you contrasted God's way and the world's way. And so the first step was, you know, for the world's way is they go out and they find, they're, they're looking, they, they want to find something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the world's way. Right.
And so that's that's the wrong way to start things, right? That is definitely the wrong way. And to start so, things. what happens when they, when people don't find them? When you don't find, I, I or or the right person. The right person. I talked about the right person, right? I said, yeah. so there's nothing it's, wrong. I got to clarify a little something for some of the ladies out there or in the men, any of the single people. It's okay to have a list. So I preached on Sunday and I was saying that, you know, some people have a three page list uh, that they need someone to check off all these boxes of all these requirements. There's nothing wrong with having a list. There's nothing wrong with asking God specifically for the, for this partner that you want in your life. But there is something wrong when you're, you're on the search constantly for someone to fit every you know, I talked about they, you want this person to look a certain way, you want them to act a certain way, you don't want them to smell a certain way. Smell I mean, a sometimes, you know. Yeah, you don't want them smelling foul, you know, that's for we sure. We definitely don't want that. But I just mean, like, it's so specific, and it can really get you, like, tunneled in on focusing on the wrong things. You might miss what God has for you because there's too much. That's external, much. superficial. You want the right person, not only on the outside, but you want the right person on the inside. Well, right? and the main point to it is that people change over time. People change over time. I'm not the same person I was when we got married. Are you the same person? No, the same. Have our, have our interests changed? Yeah. Have, our, have the way we talked changed? Everything's changed. Everything has changed. So Every if year you, changes. If you, yeah, so if you are so focused on those list of things that you want, they may not be that person in a few years. So my point in saying that is that you want to grow in your relationship. You don't want to stay where you were when you first met. You hope to grow together and to, and to get better with your relationship with the Lord and you're better with your relationship together. So don't be so caught up on this list because you're, hurt, you're searching for the so right So what person. happens is people, when they have that list, you know, of qualifications, or if you want to date oh, me. Oh, yeah, they you got have qualifications. To, you know, fill out the application <laughs> and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so they're looking, they, they find some. They don't find exactly what they're looking they for. Don't find, right. So then they select somebody, you said, right? Yeah, the, the next best thing. They're like, okay, this person's close, right? Then, then, one, then they try to what? And then they try to change them. They try to make them. They try or to him or her. Mold you into this list that you know, I have. A bunch that's, more props here. You know, really yeah. long. And oh, oh, I want one of those. Plato. So they don't find the right person. So here, this is the wrong person. They, they're not sure if it's the right person or the wrong person, but they take this. Okay, this, right? this Play-Doh's a little dry here, and crusty. Here. So. <laughs> this, one, this one feels like a, look, look, looks like a scallop. Here, like a big scallop. But here, try to make something out of that. Here, this sure. is good stuff right here. This is, this is Sculpey, okay? This is sculpture clay. I know who you got that from. Yeah? So here, make something out of this. She's going to try to make something out of this so she selected something she's got someone that she met here Make i'm just gonna say that here. this is what she tried to do yeah, for me for is, years right so oh she found gosh. me i what? found her I, did you find me or did i find you no i got when i held your hand and god told me that you're you're gonna be my wife yeah, you, you know, definitely I found he me. He spoke to you as quick as he spoke to me, but <laughs> this is not easy. What do you want me to make out of this? I want you to make somebody. Make them somebody? in the image of what you want. Yeah, here. Use these. <laughs> these are colors, right? It's gonna take a while. Excuse no, here, me. No, here, make for somebody. <laughs> She's gonna make somebody. <sighs> okay. <laughs> That's right. Rip that <laughs> list up, right, <laughs> Mr. Bill? <laughs> yeah, come on, make Mr. Bill. Oh no, <laughs> That's old school, Paul. I feel like I'm going to make gum. Come on. She's, so while she's trying to make somebody, oh, so she talked about people look, they hunt, they find, they don't find exactly what they're looking for, so they'll take something that's okay. similar or close. This is the world's that. way. This is the wrong way to get into a relationship. And if they don't find that special somebody, then they, they date somebody that they're interested or that's interested in them. They'll take the first thing that's biting at their, their thing. They'll start dating all kinds of people to try to find the right person and then when they find somebody that's close, they start trying to make it into something that they're not created to be, right? Think about this. God does the creation. God is the creator. And so God created Eve out of Adam's rib for Adam. There's a piece of Adam in Eve. Praise God. Okay? And so God is the author of genuine relationships. Okay, wait a minute, this arms. He has created, he cre I honestly feel God created Jessica just for me. I mean, I don't think anybody could, else could put up with my crap. I'll be honest, you know what I mean? 
Definitely not. Don't, and so, and don't and I, I know it. nobody other no than me putting up with, me. Yeah, put up with your stuff either. It's oh my true. goodness. Everybody thinks I'm so she innocent. She had more issues than Time Life it's magazine. It's not true. It's not true. So here, look, she's working. She's working hard. This is, she's this trying is, to create the right person. <laughs> And this is what she got I've not so been far. You know what I mean? She's tools. got some some crazy looking legs already. Wait, wait, that's its head. Oh, that's the head. You're gonna use that piece. <laughs> oh, his head fell off. <laughs> you know? All right, pretty. It's getting close. Getting closer. Okay. We're so to, think about is... that. This is what people try to do. They try to make somebody. You know, we wanna, do, we've I done wanna, a lot of. That's I the. Wanna, I want to be in with Hulk Hogan. Arms. This, <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Well, you know, see, this is what happens, though, when you're trying to take something and make it into it something. Arm? It doesn't really work. You know why? Yeah. Because God is the one who creates. God, God can the one. take all of that and make some. My daughter can take that right there, and she could just within minutes form that into something amazing. My daughter, Mia, would be very disappointed lot, in me right yeah, now. Yeah, she'd be very disappointed in you right now. She would feel like she didn't come from the right family. But my daughter would tear that. She would do Can amazing at that because I don't know. people. What like on the other that's side? what. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. So I'm that's the that. point, right? You know, you can't make somebody into something that they're not supposed to be. And this is and what people yet, do. They try to. If they can't people. find the right person, they'll find somebody, and then they'll try to form them or make. And this is the wrong way. This is God. This is the world's way. Of, of, of getting married, this is the world's way of relationships. You know, people just get thrown into relationships because they don't follow purpose, they follow passion. They get caught up, they're attracted to something in them, right? And then when they realize that it's not the right person, then they try to make them into the right person because they're attracted. I like this person, this is a good person. And often- Step one, find the right person. People get blinded by something and they miss, uh, really what they're supposed to be going after, right? The yeah. wrong person comes along, yeah. get distracted a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, so they, they find the right person, and then if, they, if it's not the right person, they try to make them into the right person. Mm -hmm. Step one, step two is then they fall in love. They, they, you know, fall in love, that's like the key, you know what I mean? I think I love you. Oh, I, I just love fell you. in love with you. I love you. I can't control it. I, I love her. It just happened. I love her. I can't live without her. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard that. Too much. Right? I you think you're going to find the right person and then. Thank you, Christine. Then you're going to try to make them into the right person. Then you're going to fall in love. You Thank know? you, Desiree. And if you fall in love, then, then you get married. Then you build all your, you said step three is build all your, fix all your hopes and dreams on them. Yes. You know? There's a three step process in the world's way of relationships. You find the right person, yep. you fall in love, mm. then you build all your hopes and dreams on that person. That's right. That person's going to make you happy. They're going to make you happy. She's it. That's She's the it. one. That's it. I'm going to be happy for the rest of my life. That's right, because of that one. That's it. Don't have to work on the relationship anymore because the relationship just works. It might work for a little while, but what happens when it don't work? Well, this is where they go wrong. They think, oh, I don't have to work on anything because I'm the perfect one. Yeah. They need to work on you know, making me happy, right? Right. They need to change. So instead of building their lives and fixing their hopes on things that are good, noble, pure, and desirable, right? They fix their hopes and dreams on this person. Mm. And then when things get a little rocky, it's like their dreams. He broke all my dreams, you know? <laughs> I was dating this one girl one time. She told me, she goes, we can't split up. You know what I mean? You, you're, you're taking all of our friends. I'm like, they're all my friends to begin <laughs> with, man. That's why we're breaking up. You don't have any friends and you're ruining my friendships, you know? No, but you, you got to think about this, right? People need to get, you know, a good understanding of what really, you're taking all my friends. <laughs> you never had any friends, okay? <laughs> you're feisty. She, she could be watching too. You're feisty. Feisty. But that's the problem, right? She wasn't the one. And then, you know, and what happens is people, you know, if there's seven steps to a healthy relationship and step one is, is courting and step seven is, is, is sex, right? Mm. Intimacy, right? Mm. And in between that is marriage and, and friendships and, mm. and meeting the family and, mm. you know what I mean, and, and doing all the homework, you know, the background checks, <laughs> you know, the, yes. the disclaimers and, you know what I mean, <laughs> the, the prenups. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. 
No, in doing all this stuff in step seven is people go from step one courting st straight to step seven in the same day, the same night. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when they realize and see what the Bible says that when the two become, when the two get together and they con consummate, it says that they, they become one. Mm -hmm. They think that that's the one because they became one. And when it's not the right person and then you, the relationship is fractured, there's a tearing. That's right. You know, there's a piece of me that's left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's they true. ripped your heart out, man. That's right. You know what I mean? Because you gave your heart to someone who didn't uh, was irresponsible or shouldn't have even had your heart in the beginning. Right. And people give their hearts to other people, mm. and then they treat it and they smash it, and then like the plate on, they start banging it and start, you know, yeah, start tearing somebody and stepping on someone's mm. dreams and hopes and hearts. They become, you know, a possession or or whatever, and right. the dysfunction kicks in. And the relationship is ruined, there's fracture, there's a tearing, the friendships everywhere are gone, and you know, they're left hopeless because they built all of their hopes and dreams on them. Yep. And then what happens? So step one is you find the right person. Step two is you fall in love. Step three is you build all your hopes and dreams on them. And when step, step three four. gets ruined, you start the process all, all over, over again. again. Let's go back to step one. We're going to revisit. We're going to revisit. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it all over again, step one. Back That's the, the wrong hunt. way. <clears throat> to build a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't do it, you can't find the right person. The right person is created, you will identify the right person. That's you right. will know that you know. I knew the minute I held her hand that she was gonna be my wife. Yep. Took her a while to figure that out. God had to speak to her, you know. Some people are a little more in tune with the spirit than it's other true people. True story, true story. Right? <laughs> no. But you know, we, we couldn't be more happier now because we, I knew, and this was before I even came to Christ. Right. But but knew, I just waited. I didn't want to marry the wrong person because, you know, I grew up, my parents split when I was three. I was very angry about the whole thing. And you know what? People get damaged. People get hurt right. by that, right? That's There's right. a lot of hurt. And people need to take ownership and deal with their hurts. But we can't just continue to hurt people over and over. Again. Right, no. And if we would just take our times and do it right, we can do it, baby. Come on. It's going to be out of sight. So think about that, right? The world's way, find the right person, fall in love, fix all your hopes in the room. That's the world, that's the wrong way. Say wrong way. Wrong Type in the wrong way. way. Say that's the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Type that in the comment section. Again, if you're just jumping on the broadcast, we're giving away a $250 gift card today because you're watching. This is our uh, Partners Appreciation Day. Those yeah. that are tuned in and watching the broadcast. And, and then not only are we going to give away $250 today on the broadcast, but you have to stick through to the end of the broadcast. You have to watch it all the way through. At the end of the broadcast, we're going to give away a $250 gift card. And then if you share the broadcast, you your name will be put into a... Uh, 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 a drawing, okay, it's gonna be a drawing. We're gonna draw somebody out of the people that share the broadcast. So if you share the today's broadcast, Thursday by noon, you have up until Thursday by noon to share the broadcast. When you do, we are gonna select somebody out of that. They're also gonna win a $250 gift card. This is Partner Appreciation Day. We're glad that you're tuned in. If you're watching, share the broadcast, stick through to the end. You have a chance to win $250 today and $250 on Thursday. That's right. All right? So uh, when we go live with PBTV Thursday at one. So the world's way, the wrong way, three, two, three steps. Step one, find the right person. Step two, fall in love. Step three, fix all your hopes and dreams on you. Build your life on them. If step three doesn't work, repeat steps one and two again. <laughs> That's the world's way. That's the world. God's way is completely different. Mm. So if the world's way is find the right person, you, you, you nailed this on Sunday. You didn't spend much time. That's why we're covering it today. Yeah. What's, what's step one for God's way? God's way is that you need to be the one you need to be the right person and you need to spend more time on changing who you are Ooh. and letting god change you and mold you into the person that needs to be found spend more time working on you yeah. than trying to find someone else right when you're good for you you'll be great for somebody else amen and they're gonna know it instantly <laughs> right they're gonna know it instantly so Type that in the comment section. God's way. Step one, be the right person. Mm -hmm. Be the right person. That's different than find the right person. Yes. Wrong way is find the right person. God's way, the right way, is be the right person. Yeah. Be the right person. Spend more time becoming the right person. How can you spend more time becoming the right person? Well, first of all, you need to have a 
stronger relationship with the Lord, um, I <laughs> often we feel like we are we are the right person, and we you know we have a great relationship with God, and but there's always area to grow and uh, get better. So um, you know, spending time in your Word, spending time building on a relationship with God, uh, making sure that you are fully. Um, I don't want to give away the third point, but you, you want to make sure that your hopes and dreams are in the Lord, not in other people, right? That you are putting him first. Right motives. Yeah. And when you are right for yourself and you are, you are happy, joyful, content, pleased, and feel fulfilled along with God, he's going to uh, provide that person for you. You got to get ready. You got to be ready, right? Right. There's things you got to do in your own life and practical things practical things too. I mean, are you ready to meet that person? You've always said here at the church that if, you know, we want the church to grow and tons of people to come through the doors and we're praying for it all the time. Do, do you know, if we're praying for rain, we got to get an umbrella, right? Are we ready for all these people to walk through the door? Are we ready to make sure their experience is what it needs to be so they can draw closer to the Lord? It's the same with you. Are you ready for that person to walk into your life? Are you, are you ready for a relationship? Because relationships don't need to drag on for years and years before you get, make a commitment and get married. Right. So if you sow the seeds of working on you and you becoming the right person, maybe you'll reap a harvest of somebody else trying to work on them and them becoming the right person. That's right. That's why some people, they've had failed marriages, but then they've worked on themselves and yes. realized that they were a big part of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Then they end up with somebody that came out of the same background with the same stuff that worked, and then, you know, they live happily ever after. Right, because they learned to work but on themselves. But if they did that in the beginning, they wouldn't have had that all that pain. We see this all the time when we talk to couples, right? Oh, we've done so much marriage counseling, and every time... People that go into marriage counseling, they always want to fix the other person. Yeah. And, it, when, and when you point the focus on them, they're like, but wait a minute, I'm not the one with this her, big tell problem. Her, I'm tell not the one with this tell big him. problem. It's them. You, you Tell them their problem. Tell them what they need to do. <laughs> and then when you start you know, working on them, they're like, whoa, 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 wait whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't whoa. come here for none of that. I didn't come here. We're, we're coming. We got to work. <laughs> this is about him. Yeah. No. Yeah. He's not the problem. You're the problem. Right? You could be the problem. In the both, relationship. both. Usually it's both. I mean, in all honesty, yeah, right? Yeah, no, it takes two to yeah, have a problem, right? To, yeah, takes two to fight, takes two, two, to, two to tango. Two to fight, two to tango. So, you know. but still, at the same time, you know, if you're, if you're saying, you know, this isn't working because him or he needs this and he should be like this and he's not doing this and what about you? Right. What are you doing? If you're saying it's all about them, it could be all about you. Right. You know? People think that their breath don't stink, you know what I mean? Everybody else is, they, you've got to realize that sometimes you, you could be the problem. Yeah. You know, when I stopped trying to change her, right, everything changed. I changed me, and when I changed me, she changed. That's a true story. That's she truth. changed. Yep. Right? And when I realized I can't change him, that the only thing that can bring change in a person's life is the Holy Spirit. That's when right. I realized that, you that's, know? that's right, Christina. Take responsibility for your own. See, when you, when you focus on becoming the right person, this is why people need to understand this, right? So when you come into a relationship, right? Here comes another people, prop. people come into a relationship and they have what, they, what we call baggage. Baggage, right? People have baggage. Mm. Everybody's got bags. They got their bags packed, you know, they're packed with all their their hopes, their dreams, yep. their list of 31 things that they want their Proverbs 31 woman to look like, yep, you know what yep. I mean? <laughs> this is 31 things. That, you know, this it, this isn't like an ice cream shop. This right. isn't called 31 flavors, okay? Right, right. But, you know, God, you know, instead of trying to, in, what happens is you've created this box that you want everything to fit in. You want God to fit in your box. You want it <laughs> back at you. You want, you want this person to fit in this, but if they don't fit in here, they ain't coming with me. That's right. Right. That's right. But people got baggage and the baggage is, you know, I don't know if they're going to be able to zoom here, but, or even see this, the baggage is issues. This is my baggage. This is, these are my issues, right? I have issues. I don't know if you can read that or not, but this says my issues. And so people bring issues into the relationship and they don't realize it. And then they find somebody because they're looking for the right person. They might find somebody with the wrong issues. And once you start, hey, this is great. And then you get home and then you get married and then you start 
opening this thing up and you start pulling out all the issues that are in the baggage of issues, life. Issues are like issues are like a man's luggage after he's traveled. He just leaves it in the corner and doesn't want to touch it. You know what I mean? <laughs> doesn't want to unpack any of that. Oh. Just wants it to stay right zipped up in, in that But bag. people have issues, right? <laughs> and so, oh man. That's why it's important that you become the right person, that you yeah. get rid of all the baggage that you're bringing in what are you bringing into a relationship? Single person, listen to me. If you were to get married today, what are you bringing to the relationship? What kind of, are you bringing financial debt? Are you bringing in, you know, yeah. are you bringing in family problems? Emotional you bringing baggage. In scars? You yep. bringing in all of your, you know, your anger issues? Are you punching holes in walls? What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. What are you bringing? What are you bringing into the relationship? Right. People right. bring the baggage. That's, That's why it's right. important that you focus on you. You deal with your issues. Then, I believe this. Once you deal with that and you're ready for something like that, God will create that person and give it to you. That's right. Right? He didn't give Adam Eve until, you know, things were set up. He gave him work before he gave him a helpmate. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you're not even working. Why would God give you a helpmate, single fella, if you're not working? Right? Why would he give you somebody to help you do nothing? Right. Right. God is not going to help you get, do nothing in That's life. Right. That's right. God will help you when you are doing what God's called you to do. And this That's is why these, these interns are great. We have some single interns that are here, but they're working. They're hard They're workers. done with college, right? Yes. They could be home. They could just be making Starbucks. They could just have a, you know what I mean? A, you know, a 12 <laughs> to one job, you know what I mean? Three hours a week. And you know what I mean? Just so they can drink all the free lattes. <laughs> <laughs> right? But never work on their issues. But when you're working for the Lord, God will absolutely create somebody specifically for you to help you That's with right. all that he's called you to do. And, and, and how about, you know, uh, ladies? What about ladies? When you're out there and you're gathering up the harvest, right? When you're gathering up the harvest, your Boaz is going to come mm. and he's going to recognize you, man, serving the Lord. He's going right. to spot That's you. He's right. gonna, the man of God is a, a man that works. A man of God is a man that, that, that loves. A man of God is the one that reads the word and yeah. operates in the things Amen. of God. And when the man of God comes and he sees the woman of God out there in the field serving, serving. the Lord and come gathering on. up the harvest, Woo. right? Work in those fields, and, right. and he will recognize, wow, that's going to be my bride. Ooh. Yeah, it's true. But there's things, when those things come together, there's those issues that are in those bags, they come together, mm -hmm. and then they begin to work. But you got to be good for you before you're long, long before you're good for somebody else. Unpack the bags. you got to unpack the bags. Mm -hmm. I, did, I had to go through two years of marriage counseling. I don't know. Maybe it felt like one year wasn't enough. I don't well, know. they did. They told us to they, wait another after year. After the first year of marriage counseling, they said, we want you to wait another year. I'm like, oh, my God. Well, we had a lot of baggage, though, oh, even together. My we got a goodness. You had to wait a whole nother year. Yeah, you think your 12 months of marital counseling was rough. You know what I mean? We had two years of it. Mm. Two years. But you know what? We submitted, and God's blessed it. Right? That's right. We had to work things out. Even before marriage, we're like, is this what we should be doing? Right? <sighs> but we knew. And then God helped us. And so even after working on our issues for two years, we still had to go through issues. Yeah. Right? That's right. I've been married four times. Four times I've been married. I've been married to the same woman. For, it feels like four different marriages. <laughs> Aren't you it. thankful it's not the first marriage? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. But things need to be worked out. But, you know, if you're not prepared for that and you're not prepared, then you'll follow the world's advice. And then when all things don't seem right and the, all the hopes and dreams, when they didn't become the person you wanted them to be. That's right. Then well, you go back on and find somebody else. Right. Mm -hmm. If God called you to be with somebody, there's no finding somebody else. Right. There's no finding somebody else. You become the right person. You'll become the right person for the right person. That's right. God will put them in your path. It's called the path of life. Mm. And so he's made known to us the path of life. Everything you need is on that path. Yep. All your prosperity is on that path, right? All of your uh, uh, potential is on that path. Uh, you know, Purpose, your gentleman blessing. caller, your, 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 um, your arm candy, all of that is on that path. Yep. Right? You'll know. You'll know the minute you'll see her. You'll do everything you can to pursue that purpose. When you know what's your purpose, you pursue it. Yep. Right? So, um, you know, the first step is becoming the right person, not trying to find the right person. Mm -hmm. Big difference between God's way, the right way, and the wrong way. The wrong way is find the right person. 
step one. The step one for, for God's way, the right way, is be the right person. Mm -hmm. What's, and then you talked about the second step, right? Instead of following love, which was the second step for the wrong way, the second step for the right way, or God's way, is, is to walk in love, not follow. That was so good. You, like, crushed it. Walking in love is different than trying to fall in love. Right. Right? Right. And so, what, I mean, what does that look like, you know? Well, falling in love is as if it was an accident or something that you can't control or something that you were unaware of. It just happened to you. Walking in love is something that you're prepared for, you're committed to, that you, you're, you're walking it out and, and serving, and, and, and it's something that it's an action. It's something that you're, that you're doing, not something that happened. Right. So the right way is walking in love. Even when things don't go right, you still walk in love. That's right. Even when someone does something to hurt, you still walk in love. Walking in love. The Bible says that love covers a multitude of sins. That's right. Right? And Thank the God greatest of the blessings or the attributes of God is love. God yeah. is love. Yep. Right? And so when you're walking in love, you're walking in power. You're walking in his footsteps. And that's why it's so important to be close in your relationship with God and to develop your relationship with the Lord so that you can walk in love because he is love. Right. We, we love because he loved us first. Right. Love isn't a feeling. No. Love is a verb. Love is an action word. That's right. And so instead of trying to fall in love, walk in love. Mm. And when you walk in love, you'll walk into somebody that is walking in love. You won't fall in love. You will be in love. That's right. There's a difference between following. I, you know, when people say falling in love, I think of, you know, people like walking up. Oh, I'm going to fall in love. Saying, Ooh, I'm going to fall in love. Like you're falling into the pit of love. Yeah. You know, love isn't a pit. You know, love is a verb. It's an action. Right. People, and then you, you know, you. Well, and if you can fall in love, then you can fall out of love, right? No. You walk into love, and then you choose to walk out of love. That's good. That's good. It's a choice. Walking in love, but people walk out of love. They don't fall out of love. I just don't love you anymore. No, you slowly walked out of that marriage. You slowly walked out of that relationship. You checked out instead of checking in. It's just like God's hand. You're walking you can't out instead be, of working in. You can't be plucked out of God's hand. You choose to get out of God's hand, right? You know, one of the things that we decided that we weren't going to fight in our marriage, right? We stopped fighting in our marriage. We started fighting for our marriage. We started fighting for our marriage right instead of fighting in our marriage we, we started fight fighting for, for our marriage that's right we've you know we don't use the d word this isn't you know god didn't make a mistake you know what i mean everything we need is on the inside of us that's right we lack nothing Amen. and so you know we we don't need marriage counseling we are the marriage counselors mm. and even when we start not do we need a call no we don't need a call we've got everything we need we've got all the right tools we just have to see the other person's perspective and the other person's when you walk in love you won't fall out of it when you walk in love you are making sure that you're not walking out of it okay and this is key this is top three when you are looking for the right person and you do have your list not only do they have to have a relationship with god and they need to serve him but they need to be committed to what they say they're gonna do. So you you want someone who's committed to you. If you know that they're committed to you no matter what, and you're ready to be committed to them no matter what, that's the key. That's how relationships stay together. It's because we're able to work on it because we're committed to each other no matter what. Right. There is no backing out. There's no change in our mind. There's no going the other direction. We're committed to making it work. And that's why we fight for our marriage, not in it. I hope all the fellows aren't checking out of this broadcast right now. You know, start talking about love, guys. You know, know. Guys spell love S-E-X, okay? That's what they think. You know, S-E-X. I, I try, I love you. I, you know what I mean? You're, you you got to get over that, Yeah. okay? You know, you, you, wives, you need to make your husband. You need to watch this. You know what I mean? Now, listen to me. All you fellows out there, okay? Stop looking at women as some sort of like prize or a, or a treat or something that's going to you know make you feel good you know what i mean something that uh you know stop looking at like you know women as like your wife is like a sexual favor like the only time you want to spend time with her is is when you want to you know get your groove on or whatever you know that's that right you said I, I you mean, know I what i mean know but right, you know but you, said it. <laughs> it, it, you know uh, guys if you want wives to meet your needs right if that's your need if you want Come her on. to meet that need why don't you meet her needs that's right right, that's right. her needs uh, you know women don't spell you know um love sex okay that's right they they they, spe they spell it h 
E H O L D M E. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold they want to be held. <laughs> they want to be wooed. They want to be treated, you know, yeah. like a princess. They, 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 it's not about things. It's about time. They want your time. They want your, your, your affection. They, they want you to love them. And, you know, this is, guys, listen. You will have a fantastic sex life if you serve your wife. When you go out do and you try to outserve her and you you try to you know love her and just pull her in and hold her some time and maybe just you know hold her and just not try to get something out of the deal. True. Right? And so when you do that, then she'll be more than happy to, you know, that that's actually what really women really they, they get turned on by. <laughs> they get turned that's on true. by more of that than, you know, the than than sex, right? So um just, I hope that helps a fella, but guys, you need to stick through too on the end of the broadcast, right? And so you hear all the amens from the ladies, but you know, we had fellas on here. Where'd you go, bro? Where'd all the guys go? Where'd, <laughs> Where'd go? you go, bro? <laughs> Where you at, bro? You know, come on. Think, that's all right. Come on, I'm trying thinking, to help you. They're thinking, they're receiving. That's what it is. They're receiving. Sometimes silence is just, you know, taking it on. Guys, off. if you're looking at ladies like, you know, I just want to get it on with her. You're thinking the wrong, that's the world's way. That's, that's the wrong exactly way. You try to find way. someone just to get Come it on. on with, right? Mm -hmm. What you need to be looking at is somebody to spend the rest of your life with. That's right. Right? That's right. Because that's going to work. That's all good. And, but what happens once all that, you know, that, that fun wears off, right? Then what are you left with? That's right. Right? What are you left with, right? You've got to, you got to have a friendship before you have that funship. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. Right? You know, yeah. you got to think about dating, not just mating, mm -hmm. right? You got to think about, you know, uh, multiplying. You got to be fruitful and multiply. There's a lot of things that God wants to do to develop you, and he wants to help you in every way, mm -hmm. right? What's love to you? What's love to you, fellas? What is love? What does love look like? Foreigner used to sing that song. I want to know what love is. <laughs> Well, read your word. It tells you exactly what love is in 1 Corinthians 13. Amen. Love is patient. Love and is kind. kind. Love is not jealous. That's it's not right. boastful, proud, proud that's, rude. That's right. You know what I mean? Does it's not, not self-serving, yeah, self-seeking. That's right. It doesn't need its own way. It doesn't right. have to have its own way. That's right. That's right? key. Don't got to have your own way. There's a difference between love and lust. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's correct. Love and lust. Right? But so... But love never gives up. Love never loses faith. That's why there should be no Christian divorces. That's love right. never gives up. Amen. If God put it together, it'll stay together. That's what right. God's put together, let no man put asunder. That's right. God, people can't separate what God put together. No, and commitment's very important to the Lord. He blesses commitment throughout the word. It's, there's covenant and commitment, and he blesses it. He wants a, a man and woman to be of their word, and what they say they're going to do, they're going to do it. Right. So, you know, what does love look like? Love is a commitment. You talked about that. Love is a commitment. You commit to these things. When I said I do, I, I meant it. And so even though I, didn't, I don't feel like it, I faith like it. You don't feel like it? Sometimes there's things I don't feel like doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know? So I think she grew up, her parents held her a lot. A lot, they like. Not really. You know? I grew up, I was like, yeah, that was out the window. There was yeah, no holding, right. nothing. There was no holding. There was no holding. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, you, you're a little hyper, though. It's probably hard to <laughs> try to try to wrestle them down. To get their arms around you. OK, I'm just, you know, saying. Yeah. But so, I mean, different. So you, you got to do things you don't like to do. That's right. If you want things that nobody else has, you have to do things that nobody else does. And so people, you know, they don't and want to sow the seeds, but they want to reap all the harvest. You should like blessing. You should like. Yeah, that's what I like. Doing. I, like I like that it when you're happy. That makes you happy when you see me happy. That makes me very happy when Same you're here. happy. Same here. Same here. I got something going on here. It's just your little hair there. Okay. There you so, but what's love to you? So, you know, world's way, fall in love, God's way, walk in love. And then instead of fixing all your hopes and dreams on the other person, or on your life, you focus it and you fix all your hopes and dreams on the Lord. That's right. And his and the kingdom. Mm. When you put the kingdom first, you'll mm. never finish last. Seek That's first right. the kingdom and God will give you all those things that you need added to your life. That's right. Right? Scriptural. So you could do it the wrong way. You could do it the right way. Love never gives up. And so you, when you focus never on does. you, if you want to help make some changes in the other person, make some changes in your life. Make some changes in your life. When I change... She changed. When I changed, she changed. Guys, if you're still on the broadcast, listen to me. 
Change your ways, and you will get all that God would have for you, and you'll get more than you ever, could ever think or imagine. You will get way more than you can ever think or imagine. Amen. Right? The common relationship today doesn't last more than five years. Common relationships today end up in divorce. And whether it's money or other people, people, you don't, the common relationships, they fall out of love. We just don't love each other. We just, we're it's not just, the same people. Yeah. yeah, you changed into somebody that God's never created you to be. And so when you work on the, there we go. Now we got the fellows jumping on. Amen. There we go. We got some Holy Ghost fellows now. Come on. Right? When you realize that God has created you for a purpose, and God's created you for such a time as this, hmm. right? Then when you work on the relationship, the relationships work. Yep. When you work on the relationship, the relationship works. That's it. Fix all your hopes and dreams on God and nothing else. Ladies, listen to me. When you give God your, when you give Jesus your heart, he'll never destroy your heart. If you're single and you want to be with the right guy, give Jesus your heart. Amen. Because he's going to have to get it from him. Yeah. Don't give your heart to some guy. He ain't going to know what to do with it. Well, what am I going to do with this? You know right. what I mean? He ain't going to make all your hopes and dreams come true. Yep. He is not going to make you feel fulfilled. He is not going to satisfy you completely. There's only one person that can satisfy you completely, and his mm -hmm. name is Jesus. That's it. And when he has your heart, there is no man that can break it, ladies. Yep. Don't be a McDonald's girl. Be a filet mignon kind mm -hmm. of girl. And if you want to be with me, you got to get with him. That's what your mentality has got to be. That's right. Fellas, if you want a, a, a Holy Ghost woman, if you want the right lady, if you're done playing around and, and you don't want, you know, if you want a princess, right? If you want a princess, you got to go to the king. Amen. If you want a princess, you got to get with the king. <laughs> Come right. on, right? I, I, I made up my mind. I don't want anybody. I want somebody that God wants me to be with. And I knew. And I built my life not on her. I built my life on him. That's right. But I did try to change her at one point in our marriage. I felt like she, because she's so different than me, <laughs> she thinks different. She, she goes to the bathroom differently. Um, there's so many things that she does differently than me. She thinks differently. She says things differently. I'm all hyped up and, and, I, and she's just sometimes calm. And then other times she is <laughs> very not, okay? And so, you know, I might be loud, but in my family, we grew up talking. <laughs> like, we never yelled, right? But her, she grew up in a family that yelled at each other. Her grandmother just, you just like straight yells. <sighs> when she gets mad and angry, she just straight yells. When, when my parents got angry, they didn't yell. Mm -hmm. They got even. <laughs> I grew up in an Italian family, became right? Silent. Yeah, became when they silent. got upset, things just went missing. You know what I mean? Like, what, what happened to my car? <laughs> things ended up missing from my life. And uh, I figured it out, right? You know? But it, so, you know, we had to work on that. And so things are just, but the, when the two become one, there's a great balance that happens. God's created somebody with all the strengths for your weaknesses. And that's why you should begin to look. When you start measuring people according to 1 Corinthians 13, and you start measuring people according to the Bible, we shouldn't measure ourselves amongst ourselves. Mm. You shouldn't measure your husband. Oh, you got another guy. Alex, in. God bless you. Alex, <laughs> stick through to the end of the broadcast, right? Listen, we're giving away a $250 gift card. Get lose on here, too. So make sure, share, let people know. And, and we're also going to give away another $250 gift card. On Thursday, for, for someone, those who share, who share the, broadcast, the broadcast. Right? We're, we're share gonna, it before 12 p.m. on Thursday. 12, share it before 12 p.m. on Thursday. Let everybody know about this. this is going to help somebody. So the, so the wrong way, find somebody. Fall in love with that somebody. Mm -hmm. And if that person that you found isn't the right person, you make them into the wrong person. Right. <laughs> make them into the right person. You try. You try to make them. <laughs> well, we can't make people. Okay? Yeah. Think about it. Right? Then... Fix all your hopes and dreams on them. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, repeats the steps again. Yep. Step one, step two, step three, right? Yep. Right? And then that's the wrong way. So the right way is God's way, and that's where instead of finding the right person, you become, become the right person. Become the right person. Yep. And then instead of falling in love, you walk in love. You walk in love. Walk in love. And then instead of building your hopes and dreams on somebody else, you put all your hopes and dreams in Jesus. In the kingdom. This Amen. is the right way. <laughs> now, the title of the broadcast is Relationships, you know, the wrong way, the right way, and your way. Sometimes your way could be some of the right way and some of the wrong way. 
you know, you might have waited and found the right person. And maybe you're not trying to make him into somebody else, but you're not walking in love. Yeah. He who is last on the broadcast will be first. <laughs> <laughs> I love Paul. it. <laughs> Paul's a smart man. <laughs> Rohan, God bless you. So, you know, you gave three great blessings or you gave us three tips here, you know. To have these uncommon relationships, you have to commit to love. You have to mm -hmm. commit to it, right? Yep. And you talked about commitment. Yep. Commit to love. And then you talked about committing to serve. That's right. You've got to commit to serve each other. Right. So one of our jobs is to outserve each other, right? Yes. And she's very good. She wins every time. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. You won this Valentine's Day. I did. I, she, we were on a cruise. She <laughs> made she, her... Who'd you go with? Your mom? My mom, yeah. Her and her mother... Ended up going St. Martin in St. Martin. Me and Jeremy, we decided to do zip lining, <laughs> and they went to a perfume place to make perfume. So she made her own perfume, yeah. and she was out of it. So I ended up getting her the perfume that she made it's, because it's Tijon. Named, it's named it's, Jessica. It's, it's called Jessica's perfume. It's named Jessica. <laughs> so I ended up buying her the perfume that she made, and I got her not only that a mister and some other things. Lotion. Right? Oh, very nice. Nailed her. Mm. Got it. So very cool. So we out try to serve each other. And then the third thing is commit to grow. You need to grow in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Grow, 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 grow. So you did a fantastic job preaching the message. So relationships. Common relationships don't last more than five years. Common relationships end up in divorce. Common relationships, they fight over everything. Common relationships, they're uncommitted, cheating. Common relationships, yeah, they're moving from dysfunctional. One to the other. Mm -hmm. They're just all over the place. There's yeah. nothing good about it. Uncommon relationships. The uncommon relationship today is p people that have been together for 50 years. Mm. You know, relationships that are pure and relationships that are forged by God. These people, when one dies, the other usually follows right after because, right. you know, it's like something died inside of them. Yeah. And so, you know, that you got to. If two people work on the relationship, the relationship works. That's right. Well, what do I do when the other person doesn't work on the relationship? You be the best you you could be. Yeah. I did a broadcast. Be be in the you know, be your yes you best you, you know, your best you. That was last Thursday's broadcast. Watch that. Be your best you. You could yep. be the best you that you can't change somebody else. What you can do is change how you deal with that other person That's so right. you be the best person in the relationship out serve them and it catch it, it becomes catchy yeah and, and the word says that you you know th that you might win them over you might win them over by the way that you are the way that you behave the way you respond the way that you act the way that you you know continue to serve you continue to be committed to the love you can win them over all right we got a woman in our church you know and her husband didn't come to church i think like i don't know 17 years yeah, it was a long, long time. time long time and, you know, we, we had conversation after conversation. I'm like, you know, you just, you got to keep serving. Yeah. And he came to a point in his life and realized that she just out served him, out loved him. Mm. And it absolutely changed his life. Yeah. And he comes to church and he sets up the water baptismal tanks and yeah. serves at the greeter in the door. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that probably to get a little more revealing, <laughs> but it's, it's amazing. That's great. You know yeah. what God did because yeah. she loved her husband. She served her husband and she won him love never fails love always wins that's right walk in love and you will find the person Amen. that god's called you to be with so Amen. you know well thanks for watching the broadcast today we hope this helps you Amen. you know make sure your way is the right way yeah right yeah and so make sure your way lines up with god's way all right we're going to give a broadcast well i mean we're going to give away somebody we're going to give away a 250 dollar gift card right now who stuck through all the way through you've been watching that Who's been on the whole time? Can you give us a name? Randomly select somebody. Look at everybody's watching online. This is random. Rando. I'm not picking this. We got one of our interns. Probably doesn't know half of you. So he's not going to do it because he likes somebody. Don't give it to somebody that you know you like. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> me, me, How me. We select They're this? all How going, me, 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 me. me. Come on. Yeah, throw the hands up. It's all, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start throwing <laughs> your hands up. Quick, 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 quick. In just a few moments, put your prayer oh. hands up. Yeah. Okay, keep it going. Prayer hands, prayer hands. Throw your prayer hands up here. Let's see who you are. All who right, wants the gift card? While we're waiting, we should probably, uh, we want to invite people to Wednesday night. Yeah, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, we, 
Justin, do we have a way to randomly select somebody that's on the broadcast right now? It's Taylor's back there. Taylor. Oh, yeah, okay, good. All right, good. So we got a bunch of people. All right. Can somebody text Adrian? Is Adrian here? No. No. Kiana, Caitlin, they were on right at the beginning. So was Paul was right on at the beginning, remember? Or Anna, we were saying it was either Paul or Anna. Did I get that right or was that somebody mm -hmm. else? All right, so Wednesday night is Accelerate. Wednesday night, seven, six, six seven o'clock, Accelerate. Seven o'clock, Accelerate, come out. And we're going to talk about, you're going to hear from our hearts. Yeah, we're, we're going to be, we're going to help people. There's a wonderful ministry opportunities that are available. Yep. This, yeah. Carol Pacetti Cotton. Yay! Carol Pacetti Cotton. Won the $250 Woo! gift card today. Praise God. Huh? Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, very good. There you go. See? Carol, congratulations. We love you, Carol. You've been selected as our winner today. I feel like she's nice. won something before. Has she? Oh, you know, I think notes. Did she, she oh, yeah, win she, the best yeah, notes? That's right. Man, <gasps> you, you got favor. She's favorite, huh? Oh, favorite. So this is randomly day. selected. Woo! We didn't pick this. So God bless you, Carol. You're the, today's winner. Listen, Yay. there's another chance to win by sharing the broadcast today. Yep. We are going to give away another $250 gift card to those who share the broadcast, okay? So make sure that you share it and uh, let your friends know if they share it. We're gonna select somebody by 12 noon randomly. On Thursday. On Thursday. And so God bless you. So well done, and you're Carol. Gonna, you're gonna announce that person on PBTV. And we'll announce it at on one o'clock on, uh, on PBTV. So thank you for, for joining the broadcast today. We're hoping that this, this, this helps you tremendous. I know this was such a good word that you put together Aww. and that, you know what I mean? And it's, it's not rocket science. I mean, this this no. <laughs> very clear how the, the world selects their, their people. That's right. And so, you know, God's way is different. So we love you guys all very much. Thank you for being our faithful partners here yep. on Talk About It Tuesday and uh, wonderful people of Crossroads Community Church. We love you all very, 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 very much. And, you know, when you put the Lord first, you'll never finish last. And so we want to make sure that you guys are well-informed. And tomorrow night, 7 p.m., right here, Crossroads Community Church, we are running a program called Accelerate. If you have any desire to be in ministry or to take your walk further with God. There's wonderful opportunities as well as training. Yeah. So, you know, this we're going to be moving pretty rapidly. At a, things are building very quickly. And so uh, we, we're a church that wants to plant other churches. So if you have any desire for ministry, there are so many open spots to jump on. We've created all these yeah. extra opportunities. Yeah. We've remodeled our children's facility. If you're gifted in those areas, there's just great opportunity Amen. right now. Amen, yes. And so, I mean, we, so good. we I'm so excited. remodeled the whole thing. We've got a brand new program, new curriculum. Our family ministry pastors have absolutely crushed it. Yeah. Putting these things together. So we want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity. Yep. There's, you know, we've got street teams that, you know, uh, we're relaunching some of our outreach initiatives. There's so many wonderful things that are going to be coming up this Sunday. I mean, this week, uh, yep. this summer that you need to be prepared for. So yeah. we're training people. We're getting people ready. And then Friday night, girls night out. Yeah. Girls night out, Friday night, 6.30, right here at the crossroads. Ladies night you're out. You're going to get Friday some worship. You're going to get a quick word. And then you guys are going to go out and you're going you're gonna to go have fun. We're yeah. gonna break up into groups and go out. Yeah, and we're just, just gonna have so send much you fun. out after. Go, go so, connect with some ladies so, and have you a know, good time. Grab, you know, grab a couple of bucks. You know, break into your husband's wallet. <laughs> you know, drain the bank accounts. Uh, you know, do what you gotta do. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, you know, get some money. Uh, you know, grab a couple of bucks and go out and have a good time. You guys are gonna have, probably have food. Probably go out shopping. Do whatever you gotta do. So it's gonna break up. It's gonna be real quick here. Everybody's gonna meet up here. They're gonna they're gonna head out from here. Ladies' night. 6.30, right here at the crossroads. So, That's right. you know, go home, change, get some child care, make your husband, tell him you're on tonight. And That's right. Adios. I know what I'm doing Friday night. I'm going <laughs> to be with my, with my chipette. So, <laughs> yep. so Friday night. 
And then make sure that you join us Sunday morning, two opportunities, 915, 1115, right here at 839 Ashby State Road. God bless you. Congratulations, Carol. Thank you for sticking through on the broadcast. I know you've shared it. And it. we are going to select another winner, $250 winner, uh, Thursday by Thursday by noon. So let everybody that you know, tell them to jump on the broadcast, watch the broadcast, share the broadcast. That's right. And we are going to give another $250 gift card away. This is Partner Appreciation Day here at Crossroads Community <laughs> Church. We love you. We love you. Go and send no more.